Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number 4 for chapter 6 and the topic for the chapter is uh, systems of two linear differential equations. In this video we'll go through two examples of uh, finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 2 by 2 square matrix and uh, for two um, cases um, actually three because the second case will take two examples okay so the first case is um, where one has complex eigenvalues let's consider a matrix a as follows is 2 negative 9 and 4 2 now let's um, first find the eigenvalues so the eigenvalues is uh, um, the roots of the characteristic polynomial which is the determinant of a minus lambda i i is the identity okay so we basically put the a matrix here and subtract the diagonal by lambda and then um, we can compute the determinant which is this times this minus this times this so we get that and then set that to be zero and we try to find the lambda value for that okay so we see that we can move and um, 36 to the right hand side and get negative 36 and then take square root on both sides and then we see that we'll get plus minus 6i on the right hand side and therefore we see we have two eigenvalues which are complex valued so it will be 2 plus minus 6i so one important observation is the following if the a matrix are real valued these are all real values and then okay it's two by two and then if in case they have complex eigenvalues lambda one and lambda two then those two must be complex conjugate of each other okay so they differ only by the imaginary part with the opposite sign and now what's interesting is that the same will happen to the eigenvectors that is v1 and v2 let them be the eigenvectors for lambda 1 and lambda 2 they will also be complex valued and they will be a complex conjugate of each other so in the case of complex eigenvalues it becomes easier to find the eigenvectors because you need to only find one and the other one is automatic by taking the complex conjugate okay so let's now take the um, lambda one let's say that is the one with the plus sign so it's two plus six i and we want to find the eigenvector which we call v and let's say the component of um, this v vector is v1 and v2 okay and then let's um, put that in so we'll have this um, system which is satisfied that is a minus lambda 1 times identity times the v equals 0 vector okay so putting in the value lambda 1 which is 2 plus 6i and then subtract that from the diagonal of the a matrix we get negative i6 on both and then times v1 v2 equal 0 okay so from experience we know already that um, this system here will give you two equations if you write them out for the first and the second they are be they'll be equivalent to each other so we can just pick one let's just pick the first one so we get negative i 6 times v1 minus 9 times v2 equals 0 just one condition and then um, you can arbitrarily pick a value for either v1 or v2 and solve for the other okay so let's pick a convenient value let's pick v1 to be 1 then v2 you can just put this number to the other side and divide it by negative 9 and you will get is negative 2 over 3 times i okay and then we get the um, eigenvector let's call the eigenvector is v1 associated with lambda 1 I'm sorry it's a bit confusing the notation here and then this will be 1 
That's the first component. The second component is negative 2 over 3i. Then for the other eigenvalue lambda 2, which is 2 minus 6i, the eigenvector, let's call it v2, we don't need to go through this calculation. We can just take v1, which we computed here, and take the complex conjugate. Okay? So for each element. Okay? So for 1, we'll just get 1. And then for this, the imaginary part will flip the sign. So we'll get 2 over 3i. Okay, finally, now let's consider the case with repeated eigenvalues. Then they must be real eigenvalues. Let's call them lambda 1, lambda 2. They must equal each other. And here there are still two cases. One is uh, you have just one eigenvector, and the other is you can find two linearly independent ones. So let's start with one, with one eigenvector. Okay, let's take an example. Let's say we have this a matrix, 1, negative 1, 1, 3. Okay, let's uh, set up the um, characteristic polynomial determinant of a minus lambda i. Mm, subtract the um, diagonal by amount lambda. That's what we have. And we want to compute the determinant. So it's this times that minus this times that. So it's plus 1. So we see it's a, a polynomial of degree 2 in lambda. Okay, so we can distribute this and open it up, and we'll get this polynomial, plus 1, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. And then we see that this makes a perfect square, lambda minus 2 square equals 0. Okay, therefore we see that we have a repeated um, eigenvalues. Lambda 1 is equal lambda 2 and is equal 2. Now we want to find the um, corresponding eigenvector. Let's call it v, um, which has components v1 and v2. Okay, and then we need to set up this system and find a solution for it. Okay, here we already put in 2, which is the eigenvalue. Okay, if you now you subtract um, 2 from the diagonal of A matrix and you get negative 1 and 1 here. And this is the matrix you have times V1, V2 shall be 0. And we immediately spot that this vector and these vectors, they are scalar multiples. If you multiply this one by negative 1, you get the other. And then, therefore, we have just one um, conditions to be imposed on v1 and v2. That is, v1 plus v2 is 0. OK, so we can choose um, randomly a v1, and then you can get a v2. Let's say v1 is 1, then v2 is negative 1. And that is the only eigenvectors one can find for this double root repeated eigenvalue. OK, so there's just 1. And now, for repeated eigenvalues, it can happen that you could have two eigenvectors. So here is a very special example. Let's consider an identity matrix. That is, um, it's a matrix that's diagonal, and on the diagonal is just 1, 1. Then, obviously, you can easily find that lambda 1 equals lambda 2 equals 1. Okay, now let's try to find the eigenvector. And then we have a minus um, identity times 1, which is identity, v equals 0. And then we see a is identity. So what you get is a 0 matrix times a vector equals 0. And then we see that um, this relation is automatically satisfied for any choices of the value of v1 and v2. Okay? then therefore that we can choose um, arbitrary any two linearly independent vectors. So for example, I can choose v1 to be 1, 0, v2 to be 0, 1. They are both eigenvectors. Okay? And in fact, you can choose any others. Therefore, um, you can find two eigenvectors. Okay, so in this case, we say that the double eigenvalue has two linearly independent eigenvectors. 
Okay, so um, I just want to um, remark on that this behavior is essentially different from the example three where you have just one eigenvector. Okay, this concludes our review on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And uh, next time we will start looking at um, systems of linear ODEs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.